let's look at a, a question on the application of exponential equation. The value of a computer can be modeled by the equation V is equal to 3500 times 0 0.7 to the power T, where V is the value of the computer and T is the number of years. So the first question is, what's the value of the computer when it is new? So it says when it is new means T is the number of years. The number of years when it is new is zero. So I'm going to put T, T equal to zero in this equation. So the value of the computer when it is new would be 3,500 times 0 0.7 raised to zero. Now 0.7 raised to zero, any number raised to zero is one. So this is 3,500 times one, which is 3,500. So in other words, when uh, the person bought the computer, it uh, had the value of 3,500, or a new computer was costing 3,500. So this is say time t is equal to, this is on the x-axis, we're taking time, and on our y-axis, we are taking the value. So this is time zero, this is time zero. It is say, this is not drawn to scale. So at this point, this is 3,000. This point is $3,500. Okay, so let us start that here. Let us leave that here. What will be the value of the computer after three years? Okay, now let me show this on a calculator, how you can do this. So menu, menu run. So you go 3,500 times bracket 0 0.7 raised to 0. This is the caret key or the power key. 0 is equal to 3,500. Okay. Now for the next question, I'm going to put t is equal to how many years? 3 years. I'm going to just put 3 there. So value after 3 years would be 3,500 times 0 0.7 raised to 3. Okay, again, we have to use a calculator. So this is 3,500 times bracket 0 0.7 raised to 3, which gives you 1,200.5. So I'll write 1,200. So when it is 3 years, it is 1,200. So let me plot the point here. So roughly, so this is a 1, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so in three years, it is, say, uh, this is 3,500. Again, this is not drawn to scale. So this is $1,200. So I would just want you to visualize what type of graph would this be? Okay, before, this is only a rough sketch. Now, before we sketch the graph, I just want you to visualize the type of graph that you have to draw. So this is 3,000, 1,200, okay. Okay, I'll just draw the graph later on. Let us move on. Now the que last question is, what would be the value of the computer when a computer goes below 500? Now, we want to find when, it, when would it go below 500. So I'm going to say, ask the question, when the value is 500, we're asking, when would the value of the computer be exactly 500? Okay, now if you know that, we can answer this question below 500 later on. So, so let me write the equation V is equal to 3,500. So let me write the other way around. Can we write the same thing the other way around? 3,500 times 0 0.7 to the power t is equal to v. The same equation, because we want to make t the subject here. So we know v is 500. So 3,500 times 0 0.7 raised to t is equal to 3,500. Sorry, is equal to v is what? 500, not 3,500. So I want to get rid of this 3,500, which is times t. So 3,500 is multiplied to this. So 3,500 is multiplied, so you do the opposite of that, which is dividing this side by 
3500. So if you do this on this side, you do the same thing on this side. So this and this gets cancelled. So this is 5 out of 35, which is 1 out of 7. This is 1 seventh. This is, I'm going to write this as 1 over 7. Okay. So this becomes, uh, let me cancel this. Okay. Uh, okay. I think, okay. So this and this gets, oops. This and this gets cancelled. I had to delete a previous video. Uh, for some reason, it was deleted. Okay. So let me cancel this working out so that let me use a bigger eraser. Okay. I don't want to show the answer. Hopefully, you know the answer by now. Okay. You can pause the video and do the re uh, remaining part. So this is, this is 0 0.7 to the power t is equal to 1, I'm writing this in the bracket, 1 divided by 7. Okay, now to get rid of this t in the power, I'm going to take log of both sides. So I can say log of 0 0.7 to the power t is equal to log of 1 divided by 7. 1 divided by 7. Okay, so here, yeah, this becomes, now there's a rule like this. Let me write the rule. Log of x to the power n is equal to n log x. So the rule says, if you have a power, it drops down. Okay, so it becomes n, n log x. So here the power is t, so this will drop down. So I can say t log 0.7 is equal to log of 1 divided by 7. Okay, so now I want to get rid of this log 7, which is times log, this is t times log 7. So you do the opposite. You have to divide this side by log of 0 0.7. So if you do divide on one side, you divide on the other side. So t is what we want to find. T is log of 1 divided by 7 divided by log of 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Okay, so again, let me get the calculator out. So this is log bracket 1 divided by 7 divided by log 0 0.7. I'll put that in the bracket. 0.7, which is 5. Point, this I can say 5.46. So, uh, in uh, exactly in 2 dB, it's 5.46. So, when t is 5.46, which is in 2 dB, uh, t smaller eraser, when t is equal to 5.46, yes your V is exactly 500. Okay, so this is of course in 2 dP. This is in 2 dP. So this is in 2 dP. So the question is, when, it, when would it go below 500? So which is the nearest neat number? So this is about five and a half years, 5.5 years. That is five and a half years, so five years and six months. So you can say after, five and a half year, or five years, six months, your computer will go below $500, will go below $500. Okay, I'll show this in a graphically and also in a, in a table form. Now, I hope you understand by now, the graph would be a decay curve. Okay, the curve, the graph would look somewhat like this. Okay, so yeah, so this is say three, four, five. So when it is five, this is five and a half years. So in a five and a half years, this would be any number below 500. 
So this is, I remember this is $492 exactly. 